Verse of the Day October 23, 2022 Taming the tongue, the right words can heal a hurting heart. James chapter 3 verses 7 to 9 Devotion Taming the tongue The tongue has always had the power to heal and also to hurt and harm. But today's world makes it so much more dangerous than in the past. In the past, words, both spoken and written, were limited in scope. Today, words spoken in anger can be recorded and replayed over and over again. The written word is splashed all over the internet on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc., and is there for the world to see and is like Pandora's box and can't be put back. Threats can lead to more than hurt feelings. They can lead to businesses failing and to international incidents. People can feel disrespected or bullied. Children have committed suicide after being bullied over the internet. Cowards, unwilling to bully face to face, use this to make fun of others and draw others into the game. One person who feels insulted insults someone else, who quite possibly resorts to violence in response, and then the other person retaliates. And so it goes until there could be all-out gang wars. One person in a car thinks someone has cut him off and so yells insults at the other driver, who may then respond by doing damage to the other car or to the driver. All this damage because of an untamed tongue. It's too bad because the tongue can be used to do so much good. The right words can heal a hurting heart, soothe a crying child, tell someone you love them, and be used to praise and worship God. Let's make the right choice in how we use our own tongues. Let us pray. O oh Lord, we can do so much damage with this simple tool, or we can do so much good. Help us to use our tongues to spread the message, the gospel, and to praise you instead of causing pain to our brothers and sisters whom you love. Amen.